Hello everyone, welcome to the stream today. Man, life is weird right now. But, I'm glad you guys are here. Um, I think Hero is the jankest Smash character of all time, honestly. I don't even think it's even particularly close. That character's silly. That's like all the Velveeta cheese. How did I place it, Evo? I think like 129th or something. I played terrible. But I'm feeling much more motivated after that than I thought I would be. I've been lazy with a lot of my preparations and just a lot of things I've been doing in general. And starting yesterday, I've been completely changing the way I've been trying to prepare for tournaments. Completely changing the, my preparations. So, I have a feeling these preparations are going to do me some good, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, something else that helps me feel better about not doing well at EVO is I felt awful the whole time. Thank you, Squidoodle, for resubscribing Tier 1 for 25 months now. And Pokehead for 20 months. Fal photo shoot with all the Falcon mains at SmashCon. I'm super down. Let's do it. But I lean towards us beating Hero on paper, honestly. I feel like we're just, we just bum rush him and we never let him breathe or get to mess around with the downbeat menu. Oh, really, Pokehead? Well, funnily enough, if I beat a Plup and Puppe, I get to play Naira, so... You just beat Nairo and you beat the two people out of pools and it'll be you and me in a uh, top 32 qualifiers. Easy. Free. Oh my god, you're right. I autopiloted. Um, dude. I think maybe some very slight arson nerfs would be useful. But to be honest, I think it'd be better to just make worse characters better. Like, just buff characters who need it, instead of, like, nerfing top tiers every single time they do well. Uh, I'm still not 100% back to normal health-wise, but I do feel a little bit better today. But, uh, Broski, regarding uh, other buffs in 4.0, I think the Pokemon Trainer matchup actually got a little bit better for us, because before, I thought we slightly lose, or slightly lost to Ivysaur and Squirtle, from Pokemon Trainer. And then beat Charizard. Whereas now, there's a good chance we go even with Ivysaur, or maybe even slightly beat him, and then also still beat Charizard, despite the buffs. Because we beat Bowser on paper. And I don't think Charizard's as scary of a character as Bowser is. Especially against us. What I think of uh, MK Leo versus Tweak? I thought that set was fascinating, personally. I a lot of I have a lot of interesting things that I learned from it, and I'm going to be very much changing up my approach to getting better for uh, majors. As of now. This weekend, my preparations are going to be extremely different. I'm going to focus entirely on the mental game. GQs, that and theory. I'm just going to study. And then I'm going to study more and more and more. And I'm also completely changing the way that I'm going about my studying. I don't want to say what, though. It's a secret. I don't want uh, other people to be able to prepare for me. The Snow with Dog Biscuits. That kid got what was coming to him. He wanted to troll me in the middle of our set, and I said I decided to troll him back. And it was beautiful. Thank you, Swag Jars, by the way, for cheering its 1,000 bits. Can't wait for the Captain Falcon guide. Slowly getting better watching you play and labbing. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. 
I'm gonna try and put that into work uh, later today, actually. I am done, Delio, but I'm hoping that'll change in 4.1. Because Falcon is definitely not a complete character yet. If they fix his movement and they make a few hitboxes a little more consistent, he's perfect. He won't be top tier, but he will be a complete character, and I'll be satisfied with it. There's such a thing as a character being complete, and that's not really their problem. Their problem is that they're just not that great or whatever. Talking can be kind of frustrating, though, because he feels very incomplete. Thoughts on Hero? I think he's the silliest character of all time, and it's not even close. But you have to wonder how many upsets are going to happen because of uh, Hero at SmashCon. I'm expecting at least a few, personally. That character is chaos. Chaos Incarnate. I think Hero is a good character, but I don't think he's like great or anything. Well, I think he has a good chance of being high tier, so I guess that would mean great, but... Salem's going Hero? That doesn't surprise me at all. Oh, my cat's name is Bunny because originally when she was adopted, no one, we weren't able to decide on a name for her. And so as a cute and funny placeholder, jokingly named her Bunny because why not, right? And then, you know what happens when you give someone a placeholder name? It ends up sticking. And so the joke name ended up becoming her real name, and so she is named Bunny. Oh no. Why is Falcon's disadvantage state bad? He doesn't really have any combo breaker aerials. He doesn't really have anything he can throw out that's fast. He's extremely heavy and easy to juggle. Then almost everything he can do in disadvantage is extremely high risk. He also has no disjoints, which means he can't really beat out other people's set boxes reliably. Unless you just have immaculate spacing. Yeah. Stupid rock rocking. It feels so weird. I remember being a starry-eyed youth coming into the Smash scene. Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. You got it. Oh no. I got him with the cheese tipman up there. How does it feel? The rebuttal has been dealt. It's okay, Logan. I'm determined for redemption this weekend. SmashCon is time for redemption. Yeah, I got Logan. I do think that he's the best character in the game. Um, I think Joker's the best character in the, in the game, and then Leo is also the best player in the world. So when you give the best player the best character, it's not too surprising he would do quite well, you know? I enjoyed Evo other than playing like booty at it and being sick the whole time. Coughing up bloody mucus the whole weekend is is no good. Um, maybe Lord Allen, but I don't want to blame it on my sickness because if I blame doing bad on being sick, then that's like a way of taking away the accountability of it from me. I'd rather just entirely blame myself and then just do what I can to do better so this is the video games the stage all right that actually looks pretty good not gonna lie
I don't mind people disrespecting me when they play, but if you're gonna disrespect me in tournament, I'll just disrespect you back. That's it. Let's do this. Oh, he's teabagging the whole set. I'm going for all sorts of trolley nonsense. Yeah, I don't really mind, Lord Allen. <clears throat> You're not obligated to respect your opponents. Besides, when you disrespect and you lose anyway, this is the funniest thing. <laughs> 